On November 11, 2024, the upgraded M270A2 Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, made its first international appearance during NATO's Dynamic Front 25 exercise, held at the Ravajarvi Training Area in Rovaniemi, Finland. U.S. soldiers from the 41st Field Artillery Brigade successfully operated the M270A2, demonstrating its advanced capabilities. The system is designed to engage a variety of targets, including artillery positions, air defense units, and light armored vehicles, with a range that surpasses previous MLRS versions. The Dynamic Front 25 exercise, running from November 4 to 24, 2024, spanned multiple countries including Estonia, Germany, Poland, and Romania. This major multinational event, involving over 1,800 U.S. service members and 3,700 personnel from 28 NATO and partner nations, showcased NATO's capacity to execute fire missions and share target information across vast geographical areas, stretching from the Arctic to the Black Sea. The exercise focused on improving interoperability, operational readiness, and the integration of multinational units in complex joint environments. Dynamic Front 25 highlighted the M270A2's role in NATO's long-range precision fire strategy. As part of the U.S. Army's 2019 modernization program, the M270A2 incorporates significant upgrades, including the integration of the Common Fire Control System, CFCS, which enhances compatibility with advanced munitions like the Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, and Extended Range Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System, ERGMLRS. The system also features a more powerful 600-horsepower engine, improved transmission, and reinforced cabin armor for increased crew protection. These enhancements are designed to ensure that the M270A2 remains operationally effective through 2050. The U.S. Army has already begun modernizing its fleet, with plans to upgrade 225 M270A1 units and refurbish 160 decommissioned M270A0 launchers. The first upgraded M270A2 launcher was delivered on July 9, 2022, by Lockheed Martin, marking a milestone in the modernization process. The new M270A2 is also more mobile and can rapidly relocate after firing, reducing vulnerability to counterattacks. The M270A2's success has extended beyond the U.S. Army, with several international partners committing to upgrade their fleets. Finland plans to upgrade its 41 M270D1 launchers to the A2 standard and the United Kingdom is modernizing nine of its M270 units as part of a $32 million program, aiming to boost its operational fleet to 85 by 2030. These upgrades ensure that NATO's rocket artillery systems stay relevant and effective in the face of evolving threats. The M270 MLRS, in service since 1983, has seen action in multiple conflicts, including the Gulf War, the Iraq War, the war in Afghanistan, the Russo-Ukrainian War, and the 2023 Israel-Hamas conflict. Over the years, the system has undergone numerous upgrades, including the integration of GPS-guided GMLRS rockets and Atakms missiles, enhancing its range and precision. The system has been widely adopted by NATO and non-NATO countries, including the UK, Germany, and Ukraine, proving its versatility in various military operations. As countries like Finland, the UK, and Germany continue to modernize their M270 fleets, the system remains a key asset in NATO's arsenal, reinforcing the alliance's ability to project power and conduct precision strikes across the globe.